Hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? What is going on? How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is great because I am loving it, loving life. <clears throat> Listen, everybody, today I'm making this video and I'm making a video today because I want to dedicate this video to a lot of my listeners. I want to dedicate this to a lot of my listeners who are going through it. You know, and I get it. I do understand. And I'm doing this one for y'all. A lot of people are going through the pain of dealing with the, the pain of the new supply and what they feel the new supply is and what they're bringing to the table and why it hurts so bad. And today I'm going to cover a lot of these topics. I'm going to try to cover all of it for you. I'm going to try to cover all of it. So let's get it going just from the very beginning. You know, you guys think that this is a, uh, you think that this is a new, a new person that your narcissist has recently met or something like that. That's the first myth that I want to crush for you now. Some of y'all have been dealing with a narcissist that has had this so-called new supply. New supply been there before you. People, it's nothing new in a dark life. Nothing. It's nothing new. They're, just, they're not doing anything they haven't been doing their whole life. It's just new to you. That's all. And, and I know that this kind of stings, you know, especially when you, you're you watching your narc go off to this other person and, you know, they seem like they're just living this this life that is oh so incredible together. They're just in love and everything is perfect. You know, <laughs> they're on the beach eating bond, bond, feeding each other bond bonds. And, you know, it's, it's $10 billion stacked up around them. And it's just enjoying life to the fullest, right? What I want y'all to think, I just want y'all to consider a few things. Okay, first of all, let's talk about the narc with you. So you believe, in, in your mind, you believe that somebody who discarded you, maybe you discarded them, but you want to believe that, you, your mind is believing that this person who showed you they prove to you, not once or twice, three times, four, they showed you and proved to you that peace is something nobody's going to have with them. Okay? Trust is something nobody's going to have with them. They proved that to you. Not once or twice, few times, couple times. No. They've shown you that throughout the entire relationship. The entire time you've been dealing with them, they've shown and proven to you that peace, love, tranquility, anything that's worth having in life, you're not going to have with them. They've shown you that time and time, not once or twice, several times. Okay, we're going to keep going up. And you've convinced yourself that they have left you for this new person. This new person is so incredible that the narcissist stopped being a narcissist. That's what you believe, that they stopped being a narcissist when they met this person. It was like, boom, something just happened. You know, something sparkled in the sky and the atmosphere changed and the temperature changed and all of a sudden it was raining 
trust and tra peace and tranquility of some type. Because the narcissist just met this person. And I know that this is, uh, I'm laying it on a little thick for y'all. Because this is how thick y'all laying it on me. You really believe the narcissist just changed for the other person. They stopped lying. They stopped stealing. They stopped everything they were doing to you and everybody before you. Not just you, but everybody before you. They just stopped. They just stopped. They, they met somebody that was so incredible. There's a human being on this planet. They didn't met. They didn't meet God. They met somebody that was so incredible that they stopped being a narc. They stopped lying. They stopped stealing. They stopped cheating. They went and got. They went and got their life together. They went and got their entire life together because this new person has totally changed their existence. People, 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 people never change. People, we don't change. We can't. We can't. We can't change. We can't. And for all of the, anybody that's thinking like, well, some people change it. Listen, anything that changes, anybody that changes in this life, that's, they just going, they just really being who they really are. They never were what they appeared to be in the first place. Now, if you feel that this narcissist really wasn't a narcissist, they didn't do the same stuff to people, everybody before you. They're not a liar. They're not a thief. They're not a, they don't steal. They don't cheat. Then they wasn't a narcissist. You know, you shouldn't even be watching this video. You're watching this video because you been around a lying, cheating thief. Okay? That's why you're here. You're either around or you've been around one. You're looking for clarity. And I'm trying to give you some clarity. Okay? I'm trying to give you some clarity. Listen here, people. I'm not doing this just because, you know, it's just something fun to talk about. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because I want to put you in a place and bring you back in tune so that these people can be exposed. Now, I'm going to give y'all one. The worst thing that you can ever do to a narcissist. See, I'm all about destroying this monster. Look here. I got my army fatigue shirt on today because I declare war against narcissists. Okay. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for totally destroying the narcissist. I'm not here to be their friend. Just like they were not your friend. They were not my friend. They are lying, cheating thieves. Okay? That's why I'm here. I want to continue to bring nuclear power to the impact. To the super impact. That's right, the super empath. Listen, people, you're dealing with a dirty, low-down, no-good snake. A dirty, no-good, Not they don't respect anything. And, they, and if you think for one second that they're with this new person, or not new person, because let's, let's kill that right there. It's not somebody new. It's somebody they've been running around the whole time. And look at this. The whole time when they're starting these little arguments with you, here and there, you like, what's going on? What, why, why are we arguing? Why are we always going through this? When they're arguing with you, that's when they're sneaking off with the other supply. That's when they're grooming their other supplies. They're grooming people. And when they come home to you or come around you and they always got an attitude and they can't, you can't seem to make peace with them, that's why. Because they have to get away to their other supply. Okay, you're not crazy. You didn't lose your mind. They want you to think you're crazy. But more than that, they want you to not expose them. That's right. They do not. The, the worst thing you could ever do to a narc is expose them. And the reason that that is the worst thing that can ever happen to a narc 
See, I want y'all to I want y'all to get this. A narc is only effective if you don't know who they are. And, and I'm gonna tell y'all something. Because narcissists, they fought, they watch my page. I've seen them on my page. They watch my page, they watch other people's pages. There are narcs making videos like this because people, they do not want to lose the impact. They don't want to lose the impact. They don't want to lose that power over you. So yes, there's some narcissists out here making videos about narcissism. Absolutely. You're going to have people that's going to say I'm a narcissist. I don't care what they say. I know what the rest of the world is in tune to. Just like you know. Y'all not coming to me because my I'm so dark. You coming to me because it's light over here. Okay? But you're going to have narcissists out there. They're going to put propaganda out there for everybody and everything. Look at here, people. The narc is dying. The narc is dying. They are not doing well. They're not doing well. They're looking at our videos because... They can see they're losing their power because everybody's not just going for that okie doke no more. Everybody's not going for it. Why? Because now they have something. There's something out that you can watch, that you can listen to, that you can prepare yourself for. There's a way to prepare yourself now. And see, now you, you can see we're breaking this thing down for y'all so that you can deal and you can identify with different things, that different activity, different behavior. And when you see that behavior, you can act accordingly. You can act accordingly. Look here, people. These people, are they are drying up. They are drying up, running out of supply. They can't just go out here. See, before we started exposing them, they were just running around, Grabbing, just going to this person, going to that person, and we would just say, Man, that person is crazy. See, we used to call them crazy. Man, they don't know what's up with it. They man, that judge joke is crazy. Or she crazy. That's what they're trying to say about you now. That narc wants you to think you crazy. They want you to think that you don't deserve a good relationship, a great relationship. A perfect relationship. The narc don't want you to think like that. That's why they come up with these cliches about ain't nobody perfect. You ain't perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. You gonna have problems. How they know that before the relationship start? How does a narcissist know you gonna have problems before a relationship even starts? Because they know they're gonna be the problem. They know it from the very beginning. They know what they're going to do with you. Stop. One thing y'all got to stop doing is stop making pretend they don't know what they're doing to you. They know exactly what they're doing to you. But what they're banking on is you're not going to hold them accountable. That's what they're banking on. You're not. You're going to feel sorry for me. They done shot you a sad story about their sorry life being this, that or whatever. Something happened to them. So what? I, 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 I'm sorry, y'all. I could care less about a narcissist's life. I, I just I just don't. Because I'm watching the destruction that they're doing every day to people. I'm watching them going on the, they coming in, they're trying to infiltrate our camp. They're bringing this cancerous virus. They're trying to spread a virus in our camp. They're trying to dumb us down. They don't want you in a level, they don't want you in a place where you can start listening to your spirit. They don't want you doing that. They want you to think about it every time they lie to you. They want to use your they want to use your thoughts and your mind against you. Okay? They do not want you being led by your spirit. But if you're around me, you're going to get to know your spirit. That's right cuz that's where I'm going with it. If it ain't, if you're not being led by your spirit, man, you know what? Honestly, people, don't even follow my page. Because that's where I'm at with this now. That's where I'm at with this. If you just want to try to make sense out of this narcissism thing, it's other coaches out there that can help you. 
I'm coming for the people that's serious about this. I'm coming for the people that really want out. The people that really don't want to be in pain no more. Okay, that's what I'm here for. You know, you want somebody else to just, you know, do a bunch of make pretend stuff with you. I'm not for you. Okay, I'm not for you. It's a, it's a, a lot of excellent coaches out here that you can follow. For all the people that's serious about this, look here. It's all about being led by your spirit. Okay? I'm dropping nuclear bombs on these dirty, no good knocks. That's what it is. Okay? It's all about being led by your spirit. They don't want you to do that. They don't want you to do that. The only reason they came to you and came at you in the first place is because they could see you wasn't led by your spirit. You a thinker. You thinking. Every time they tell you a lie, you thinking. You trying to justify. You trying to make sense out of it. People, anytime, anything anybody tells you, you're gonna, your mind is programmed in a way where it's only going to try to make sense out of it. The narcissist use your thoughts against you. That's why you in that situation so deep. Okay? You're in there because they're using your thoughts against you. They tell you anything, tell you something crazy. Oh, I, I forgot to come home last week. Or oh, don't, don't you be asking me about what I'm doing? People, they're using your mind against you. Okay? Your spirit cannot mislead you. It cannot lie to you. And it's been telling you that that sorry sack of stuff, you know what it is. Been lying and cheating to on you the whole time. Your spirit is telling you that. Your vibration is telling you that. And it's time that you start listening. You start listening to this spirit. You're not going to have any pain. None. You want the pain to go away? Start listening to your spirit. It's been telling you the whole time. This joke is lying. You just going to lie to me? They lying. They cheating and they stealing, man. People. These jokers will go out here. They want to make this impression like they're with somebody good and somebody that's, that done changed their world. They've been dealing with that person for a long time. They ain't just meet that person the other day. Why, why take them so long to figure that out? Because the new supply is only the... the well, I ain't going to call nobody names. I'm a, the new supply... Is somebody is supply without boundaries, people. That's all it is. They found somebody that does not have a clue of how cruddy, how underhanded, how dirty, how conniving they are. They found somebody that's just going along to get along, people. That's it. And nine times out of ten people, I'm gonna tell y'all something else. A lot of times. This is all supply to a narc. Somebody they already had a relationship with before. It didn't work then. It's not going to work now. They're going to be back to you, back in your face, crying, begging, talking about, babe, I know, you know, you ain't, you, you shouldn't be listening to me, but I just want you to listen to what I had to say and blah, blah, blah. blah. They ain't got nothing but a bunch of excuses. A knock is just, this is another, it should be just another word for excuses. You know? That's what a knock should be another word for devil, for evil, excuses, harm, hypocrite, everything bad, anything bad. They go on, you know, you, they got you out here thinking that, you know, they're just happy with this. The person that they done ran off with. They happy. And this is what I want y'all to. This is what I want you to just consider. Happiness is a process people. So they just left a relationship with you today. Already with somebody. You're telling me the universe we live in. Is so Dirty. The universe. I ain't talking about this world. I'm talking about the universe. I'm talking about the actual part that is clean out here. They put lying, 
stealing, cheating into the universe, and then they got somebody that they're running with. They've proven to you they're a liar, a cheater, a thief. They've shown and proven that to you, and yet you think that they are blessed. They're somewhere happy is what you think because they took a picture and smiled on it. be happy and you ain't even taking care of responsibility around you because the narcissist is not even a responsible person how can you truly be happy and you're not taking care of your responsibility on any level none of it hmm? how you just leave you come into people's lives no integrity you lying and you cheating but you're happy. People. People that are truly happy don't have to lie. They don't have to cheat. They don't have to steal. That's why they're happy. Because they're not bringing all of that negativity. They're not bringing that low vibration into their life. A narcissist is a bottom feeder. They're low. They're low lies. They ran off to somebody not because the person was better than you, not because the person looked better than you. They don't care who they date. They don't care who they marry. They don't care. The only thing a narcissist cares about is how much they can torture somebody, how much they can beat that person up. How gullible is this person? When they find a supply that is gullible enough to marry them, they, in, their, in a narcissist's eyes, they're saying, this person is going to give me enough supply. I can lie, cheat, steal, and everything else for the rest of my life. I'm marrying you. That's why they marry them. That's why a narcissist gets married. They're not getting married because they love somebody. How can you love anybody and you can't be trusted? How can they love anybody love you if you can't be trusted? Love doesn't work like that. Love doesn't work like that, people. It doesn't. It never has, never will. Okay? Never has, never will. Love doesn't work that way. The narcissist out, they out doing this. They at dinner and they look like they having the time of their life and the food look like it tastes better. And Man, you be... Everybody, you beat yourself up following their page. Why are you following them? So a dirty, a dirty, no good joker. You, why are you even doing that to yourself? They're sending messages back to you to torture you. They're sending, they got their flying monkeys trying to send you pictures. And oh yeah, did you see so-and-so's Facebook posts? And did you see their, their Instagram and this and that? Man, who cares about that crap? Somebody new stuck with your narcissist. So now you want to know, okay, so how do you get them back? What you do that? What you got to do? What you got? How you going to get them back? Y'all watch all the videos on how to get these jokers back, and you just don't believe it. That ain't none of it. I'm going to tell you this. From the videos that I've seen, I, can't, I haven't seen all of the videos. Most of the videos have told you, listen, get your life together. Cut the narcissist off. You want to really punish a narcissist? Cut them off. They coming back to the scene of the crime? They always come back to the scene of the crime. They want to see if you still hurt. They want to see how bad they hurt you. That's how dirty they are. People, they dirty. The narc is dirty. Ain't nothing clean about the narcissist. Nothing. Pure, unadulterated evil. That's all you're going to get from a narcissist. They are evil. People, I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling a paradigm shift in the universe. And I'm keeping this real. Y'all can say I'm crazy, whatever. If you feel like it, I don't think that y'all feel that way. I don't know why I put that out there. That's negative. I'm going to take that back. I feel a paradigm shift. We are in the battle right now with the devil we working against the devil himself people 
the devil being exposed, he's fighting back. He has everything to lose in this war, y'all. He has everything to lose because look at this. If the devil becomes exposed, when he is exposed, he, he is worthless. He is a joke after that. He cannot torture. He cannot go through this planet and just get over like he's been getting over. So he is fighting. He is fighting. Y'all want to know how to torture the narcissist? Expose him. Expose that dirty, low down, no good rat. Expose them. They're banking on what they did to you. They don't want you coming out here telling nobody about it. They don't want it. They don't want it out here. But we got comment. I got a comment section right here. And people, I promise you, there's people all over the world looking at my videos. I want y'all to show the world with the with the devil, what y'all doing to the devil on this side of the world. I want you in the comments. I want y'all to tell everybody what the devil is doing and expose him in the comments. Expose this devil in the comments. Tell everybody the liar, the cheater that they are. Let the people know for you guys who are a little further along. Can y'all just give these people just a little bit of relief? And let them know how the narcissist is really doing. Yeah, they stayed with this person. Because this person over here just like torture. That's all. The narcissist is, listen, they want to pick somebody with no boundaries. Okay? None. The narcissist is lazy. Okay? They lazy, they trifling. They could have chose to just be in a relationship with one person and stick to that. But that's trifling. They, to them, they don't like stuff like that. A narcissist want to be in everybody's face. See, your, the issues that we deal with is that we think that it's all about us. We get on this pride thing where we start to believe in that. You know, no, nah, I, I know that, you know, as good as I am to this person, they, you know, they, this is why they act this way around me. You know, I bring out this extra in them. It's not you. BBD got a song called Thought It Was Me. Nah, partner, it's not you. They act like that with everybody. They act like that with everybody. Go listen to the song. You thought it was you? Huh. They like that with everybody. They are for everybody. They are for anybody. They have no standards, people. They have none. You think that they that them and the new person that they that they left you for, they done went out here and they just living the life. That is the biggest lie ever. That's the that's the second biggest lie that the narc ever told. The second biggest lie that the narc ever told. The first biggest the first lie, the biggest lie the narc ever told was that they not the devil. Exactly. That they not the devil. It's all about deception, people. It's all about deception. Everything about this narc is all about deception. Man, I'm sitting here like they putting us through so many different things. I, I mean, so many of them have gone out here, ran off with other people, and you taking care of them. You doing making major sacrifices for them, doing everything you can do. In your life, trying to keep this sorry, no good, treacherous piece of trash. Just trying to take care of them, doing everything for them, not doing for yourself, not loving yourself. Look, people, I declare war against narcissism, okay? And the fight is on. And the good news is we won. We won, and the narcs know it. They don't want to be exposed. You want to torture the narcissist? Expose them every chance you get. Expose them. Go into the comments. Let people know. People reading this stuff around the world. Okay? 
Let them know how dirty they are. Let them know how treacherous they are. Look here, people. That's my video. I just want to send this love out to y'all. I want y'all to love yourselves. I want you to learn how to love yourselves. I put 